with this probability question. It says that 45% of the students prefer vanilla ice cream. So we're going to take a random sample here of 12 different students, and we want to know what the probability that at least two of this random sample of 12 prefer vanilla. That means that <coughs> two of them can prefer vanilla, four of them, ten of them, anything over two, anything including and or, or over two, um, prefer vanilla. So we want to know what that prob probability is. Okay, well, and that looks... Uh, a little bit complicated, there is a formula that we can use. It is the binomial probability formula. And here it is. This is our binomial probability formula. Um, and this, there's a lot to it. And what we need to first do is determine what, what are we going to do on this one to find at least two. At least two. Well, at least two in probability is the equivalent of 1 minus 0 or 1 prefer vanilla. Because if, it's, if 0 people prefer vanilla, or one person prefers vanilla, that's the exact opposite of at least two. So we can take in probability, both of them, everything adds up to one. We can't get more than one probability, which basically means 100% of the people, um, they both of them must add up to 100%. So one minus the probability that zero people prefer vanilla or that one person prefer, prefers vanilla would give us the equivalent to at least two, because then the rest of them are covered, whether it's four people or seven people, it doesn't really matter. Those are all covered there. So that's what we're basically going to find. We're going to find the probability that zero prefer vanilla, and the probability that one prefers vanilla. Then we're going to subtract both of those from one, and that will give us the probability that at least two uh, students prefer vanilla. OK, so let's look at first the probability that zero prefer vanilla. Okay, so our p value, the probability of getting zero students who prefer vanilla, uh, and q would be the probability that we do we do not get anyone, uh, we do not get zero. In other words, um, what the opposite would be instead of it being forty-five percent, those will be fifty-five percent. We'll kind of get into that in just a little bit. Now, then we've got the r value is zero. We want zero successes. And the n value is 12. There are going to be 12 trials or 12 students that we're actually selecting here. Okay, so we're going to put this together. First, it shows a combination here. So our combination is right here. This is 12 choose 0. Uh, then we're going to find out what our uh, p value is, the probability of getting 0. Well, the probability of success in this case is if we have a student who prefers vanilla, and that probability is 45%, so the, that would be 0.45 would be our probability of success. Our probability of failure, remember this has to add up to 1. All probabilities add up to 1. So that would be 1 minus 0.45, which would give us 0.55. Now then, this has r, our r value, the number of successes that we want right here. This will be just 0, because we don't want any, zero, any successes. None of those students prefer vanilla. And then that would leave uh, n minus r. n is 12. 12 minus 0 would give us 0. Okay, now if you notice, both of these two will add together, these two exponents, 0 and 12, will always add up to the total number of trials or e events, if you will, the number of students in this case. Now we're just going to plug this into our calculator. Um, and you can plug it in just like it appears here, that's just fine. Uh, we'll pull in both calculators. First we'll do the TI Inspire. We'll bring this one in here. And this is a 12 choose 0. Um, so we'll go in here to Probability, Menu, Probability, combinations, and we'll do 12, choose 0. And next we'll do the probability of success is 0.45. This is going to be raised to the 0 power. Then we're going to multiply that by the probability of failure, 0.55, and that one is going to be raised to the 12th power. We'll hit enter, and this is our answer here, 0.00769. Um, so we'd, we plug that into our calculator here, and that's what we get right here. Now this one asks you to round it to the nearest four decimals. Four decimals, we could have stopped at seven. Typically, uh, that's your answer that needs to be rounded to four decimals. So typically, you want to go a couple more decimals while you're showing your work, and at the end, you can round it at the very end. That'll get you the most accurate answer. Okay, so this is our answer here. If we brought in our TI-84, uh, let's clear this out. We've got 12, choose zero. 12, and then we go right here to math. Go over here to the prob right here, that's probability. Oops, one too far. And right here is our combinations, that's option number three. So we've got 12, choose zero. Now yours may look a little bit different than this, and that's okay. It's the same process to do your 12 and then go over to combinations, choose that, and then type in zero afterward. 
hit enter. Whoops, we hit enter just a little bit too soon. 12 over here to probability. I keep going one too far. There we go. Option 3, 12 choose 0. Then we have to multiply that by the probability of success, which is 0.45. That is going to be raised to the 0 power times the probability of failure, which is 0.55. That's going to be raised to the 12th power. Then we could hit enter. And we get this answer. You get the E on here. And the E means this is our scientific notation. Um, it means... Um, 7.66 times 10 to the negative fourth power, which is equivalent to what we've got right here. That means we're going to move it over, uh, whoops, wrong calculator, move it over four different spots. Let's bring in the right calculator here. There we go. Move it over four different spots. We're going to go 0 .000, uh, 766. Now, one other thing that I, I did want to adjust real quick, those of you who have noticed here, this right here, uh, this combination here is equal to 1. Anything to the 0 power is 1. So if you want the shortcut, you can just go 0.55. I'll raise to the 12th power. It would get you the same thing. Okay, so we've calculated the probability of getting a 0, uh, that 0 students will select it. That's your, that will prefer vanilla, excuse me. Now we need to determine, so that's one of ours, we need to also determine the probability that one of the students will prefer vanilla. So let's bring that in now. Probability of success. Uh, that means success would be getting one student who likes it. Uh, probability of failure, or failure and failure in this case would be that uh, we do not get one student to like it. R value, that's the number of people, number of success that we'll have, we'll have one. N value is still 12. So we're going to come up with our combination, and this time our combination is 12 choose 1. We're going to use the exact same formula that we did right here. Instead of it being a 0, this will be a 1. Okay, or if you want to bring in your TI-84, uh, right here, instead of this being 12 choose 0, this would be 12 choose 1, and that's really it. Okay, so 12 choose 1 there, and then we go probability of success is 0.45. Probability of failure is 0.55. So right here, the number of successes that we want, instead of it being 0, is going to be 1 right here. And then the uh, right here, we're going to go n minus r. n is 12. 12 minus 1, and 12 minus 1 would be 11. Now we're just going to plug it into your calculator exactly as it appears there. If you plug it into your calculator, you'll get this as your answer. Okay, so now that we've got that, let's get rid of this. We know here our probability of at least two. Um, that we're basically going to do one minus probability of zero. We know that minus the probability of this. Okay, so let's just do the calculations now. So we've got one minus point zero 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 seven six six. I'm getting that directly from right here. Our probability of getting zero. Then we're going to subtract our probability of getting one. That is our probability right here. We just calculated that one. So what's 1 minus uh, 0 0.00766 minus 0 0.007523? Uh, just plug that into your calculator. Make sure that you round it to the nearest four decimals, which would be 0.9917. So 0.9917 is a probability that we will get at least two of these people will say that they like vanilla. And that makes sense. We've got 45% of the students say that they'll prefer it. Prefer it. Even if we took 45% of 12, we would get uh, it would be much higher than two. So that your likelihood is very good um, that you're going to get at least two. And in fact, it's 0.99. So you've got a 99% chance that you're going to have at least two students say that they prefer vanilla.